All right. January in Jacksonville, and it's hot. So back to the white sneakers. Fuel prices back up again. See if I can hurry up and get up in here and do all this before it times out on me. It always wants to time out on me. Which is a total pain in the ass. Hurry up, hurry up before it times out. Ah, I made it. Alrighty, thank you. Well, some people take up the whole damn boat ramp in the morning. Yep, this is their private boat ramp, I guess. Private boat ramp. Gotta love it. All right, let's get this party started. Okay, Mr. Lucky's on a fish. We, he's been fishing for two seconds. And we have... Hey, ladyfish in January. Wonderful. Hey, Bob. <laughs> uh... why, don't you, why don't you start catching some... Uh, let's That's... see, maybe a bonefish or two. How about that? While we get eaten up alive by the bugs. Oh! All right, folks. Me and Bob are leaving up here. We're getting ate alive by bugs. And as I just told Bob, why do people always make fun of me when I say winter, it should, should be cold. It's gonna be 85 degrees today, it's January 2nd. And we're up here near the marsh and we can't, you can't breathe for the bugs. And I'll tell you something, if it was 40 degrees, there wouldn't be a goddamn bug nowhere around here. This is ridiculous. So, we're going, we're going, we're going back somewhere else. <laughs> the gnat ought to be the state bird of Florida. Yeah, this is ridiculous. All right, here we are at the Jacksonville Beach Pier. At the very end, that, this is, if you can see it, that's what's left over from Hurricane Matthew. And it's not optimal conditions because it's, there's a big swell. But me and Bob decided we'd run down here and give her a shot. And we haven't caught a single fish yet. This was supposed to be big time. Big time, big time. Little buoys marking, I guess, where the broken off pilings were. And he's getting uh, pinfish bites or something on the float rig. I'm fishing a shrimp on the bottom and I've lost a shrimp or two, but I don't know what the hell they were. Bob's so lucky he can usually pull a fish out of a, out of a mud puddle. All right, Bob? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, let them dogs out. Who mm, 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 mm. <laughs> let them out? The puffer let them out. Here we go, watch this. 
All right. Looks like Bob has himself a, a keeper. Those things are like, they're almost like dinosaurs. Worth their weight. Oh, Dave's on one. He's back there wallering in the water, wallering behind a float. He's going to skyrocket any minute. That might be a nice 14 incher. Yeah, come on. More jet skis. More. We need some we need some more traffic in here. Let's see, who else can we invite? Can we tell Dennis to, he needs to come back and put his boat in the water and come park right next to us? Yeah, man. Oh no, hey, there's a uh, Willie Weekender over there with his uh, ski boat. He needs to come, come on in, come on. Damn, Bob, I have to tell you when your float's down. What do you got? Little pupae redfish. All right, just hey. like just like the rest of the nursery fish we've caught today. Hey, better than a sharp stick in the eye. There we go. I got one of them damn bait stealing son of a bitches. Let's see, what is it, a pinfish? No, it's still summer. It's a Jack Creval. Was that a Jack Creval? Like yeah, no, it's a Jack Creval. Yep, summer in January. We still got jacks hanging around. Jacks and ladyfish still hanging around Jacksonville, Florida. Oh boy, do I have a glory species here or what? Is it a glory species? I don't know, let's see. It's a pupper red, it's a glory species. We've done found the nest, Bob. We found the nest of little blue tails. Come here, dude. Golly, he done swallowed it. He thought he was going to the shrimp restaurant. Now he's going to the periodontist. All right, a little blue tail. Okay, you won't be able to maybe see it, but here comes three more. It's the invasion of the bay boat. Hey Dennis, you went home, why? Because there's just too many people around? Get out of here. Get out of here. There's too many people. Are you kidding me? Here comes three cone heads right now. <laughs> Seltzer. All right, folks, this is quite embarrassing. We don't live in uh, Louisiana. So this is all that me and Bob got that we're keepers. Two measly small speckled trout. This isn't like Pontchartrain by no measure. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the titanium knives, the Titan knife, again. I have not even come close to sharpening these things yet. I haven't sharpened them one bit. And let me tell you, the proof of the pudding, let me adjust the camera here. The proof of the pudding is how well it does just on a, on a trout. So, 
let's do it to it. Okay, go in here, pull the chewing gum out. I've cleaned about, I don't know, 30, 40 fish with them. And uh, absolutely no problems. Okay, now here you go. No problems. See that? No problem. All right, Bob. Bag up play number one. Can't keep the camera straight, folks. All right, here we go. Get out the old ribs. Now that's 30, 40 fish later, and I have not sharpened this or done anything to this knife at all. Not a single thing. So. There you go. I haven't done a full review on these yet, but it's coming. I just need to start ripping some uh, some bony fish. I haven't done a lot of big bony fish. A couple sheep said not much. All right, one more. One more measly trout. What's today? The 2nd of January. There were so many people out. And there was absolutely like no bite of fish. Hardly at all. I know what the problem is. It's it's too it's warm. We saw people swimming dancing around in the water. It you go back to all my videos, wintertime trout fishing, 90% of the time, we're decked out in super heavy clothing. Not this bullshit. T-shirt and flip-flop weather. That don't cut it. We haven't had a winter yet. Maybe we'll have a winter in January, the rest of January, and maybe February. But it was something. We did everything we could today. Did a little bottom fishing, went down to the pier, ended up fishing next to some oyster beds, caught some pup reds, some other assorted junk. But the kicker is Jack Cravals and Ladyfish. They're still here, folks. So, but there's the old titanium knife. I've been using the hell out of this small one. <clears throat> the real big difference with this knife is when you hold that thing and you use this blade, it's a commercial quality knife. That's the difference. You hold some of these other knives that you could swear you, sh you should be at Sesame Street cleaning fish instead of commercial fishing. All right, that's it. Adios.